in this video i will explain how to express the given functions into min term canonical form express the following functions into min term canonical form so here i am taking three examples and i will explain how to convert these functions or these boolean expressions into min term canonical form let me take one by one that is the first one is function f is equal to a b plus b c we know that we know that canonical form or min term canonical form is nothing but standard sop in standard sop it consists of all the variables so here we can see that by seeing this expression we can say that it is having three variables that is a b and c so by observing here the first product term is having only two variables that is a and b so in this variable c is missing similarly in second product term that is b c here the another variable a is missing so to convert the given function into min term canonical we have to add those missing variables that is i can represent this as a b the missing variable is c i will represent that c as c plus c dash because we know that a plus a dash is always equal to 1 so similarly c plus d c dash is nothing but 1 so when we multiply ab dot 1 is nothing but ab itself similarly here i can represent it as bc here the missing variable is a so a can be represented as a plus a dash so that its value is same as bc because a plus a dash is 1 now let me simplify this that is af is equal to i can represent this as abc plus abc dash plus bca plus bc a dash or i can represent it as f is equal to abc plus here i have again abc plus here i have a dash bc plus abc dash or i can represent it as so here we have two terms abc plus abc we know that a plus a is always equal to a so these two product terms can be replaced by only one that is instead of writing two times i will write it as one time that is abc plus a dash bc plus abc dash or i can represent this is the standard sop form or this can also be represented as f is equal to summation m here a b c is nothing but 1 1 1 that is 7 a dash b c is nothing but 0 1 1 that is 3 here it is a b c dash that is 1 1 0 that is nothing but 6 or i can represent it as in increasing order that is 3 6 7 let me take the second f1 is equal to a b dash plus a b dash plus b c so looking at this function we can say that it is having three variables that is a b and c so let me continue simplifying so in this here by observing we can see that a b dash appears two times again we by boolean laws we can say that a plus a is always equal to a so here ab dash and ab dash can be replaced by only one product term that is ab dash plus bc let me simplify further here the variable c is missing that can be as added as ab dash c plus c dash because we know that c plus c dash is always equal to 1 therefore ab dash 1 is nothing but ab dash itself similarly bc here variable a is missing 
let me add a as a plus a dash or I can represent it as f1 is equal to a b dash c plus a b dash c dash plus a p c plus a dash b c. So this is the mean term canonical form. Or I can also represent it as F1 is equal to summation M. A B dash C is nothing but mean term number is 1 0 1 that is 5. Here it is A B dash C dash that is 1 0 0 that is 4. A B C that is 1 1 1 that is 7. Here it is A dash B C that is 0 1 1 is nothing but 3 or I can represent in increasing order as summation m 3 4 5 7 let me take the third example y is equal to w bar x plus y z bar so by observing this we can say that the function y is having four variables that is x, y, w, x, y and z. So here first let me take the first product term that is w bar x. I can represent it as w bar x. Here y variable is missing that is y plus y bar and z variable can be represented as z plus z bar or I can represent it as I will keep this term as it is this can be represented as w bar x y plus w bar x y bar and we have z plus z bar z plus z bar or I can represent it as is equal to here it will be w bar x y z x y z plus we have w bar x y z bar w bar x y z bar plus this can be represented as w bar x y bar z plus we have w bar x y bar z bar so w bar x can be represented by these four product terms in which it is having all four variables. Similarly, y z bar can be represented as y z bar is equal to y z bar. Here the missing variables are w and x. That is x plus x bar. That is nothing but 1. And we have w plus w bar. So this is nothing but I will multiply this y z bar with these two terms. I can represent it as x y z bar plus x bar y z bar I will keep this term as it is that is w plus w bar or further I can simplify this as now I will multiply each term of this with this I can write it as x y z bar and we have w that is w x y z bar plus w bar x y z bar w bar x y z bar plus now I will multiply this term with these two that is w x bar y z bar plus we have w bar x bar y z bar. So now I can represent the function y as y is equal to here we have w bar x y z plus here it is w bar x y z bar plus we have w bar x y bar z plus w bar x y bar z bar plus now let me write these four variables that is w x y z bar plus w bar x y z bar 
plus we have w x bar y z bar plus w bar x bar y z bar so now in this expression we can identify if any product terms are repeating so here w bar x y z bar and also here i have w bar x y z bar so instead of writing two times we can represent it by one times similarly search for any other variables So therefore now I can write y is equal to w bar x y z plus w bar x y z bar plus w bar x y bar z plus we have w bar x y bar z bar plus w x y z bar plus we have w x bar y z bar plus w bar x bar y z bar or this can also be represented in terms of min term numbers as so this is w bar x y z is nothing but 0 1 1 1 that is 7 here it is 0 1 1 0 that is 6 here we have 0 1 0 1 that is 5 here we have 0 1 0 0 that is 4 here we have 1 1 1 0 that is 1 1 1 0 is nothing but 14 it is 1 0 1 0 is 10 here we have 1 0 0 one zero is two in increasing order i can represent it as two four five six seven ten fourteen so